What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a high quality Twitch stream while also showing off my streaming setup in the process. If you'd like to see what my stream looks like live, you can check me out over at twitch.tv slash coolio.brad. And without further ado, let's get started. Here's a list of all the programs and tools that I'll be using in this video. Each of these are 100% free, and feel free to click the annotation on any of them to skip ahead to that part in the video. The very first thing you need to check is that you have a computer that's strong enough to both run your game at a high frame rate as well as stream without causing any problems to your computer or to your game. And you also need to make sure that you have an internet connection fast enough to stream. For your PC specs, Twitch recommends that you have at least an Intel Core i5-4670 or AMD equivalent for your CPU, 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, Windows 7 or higher as your operating system, and you need to make sure that you have a video card that supports DirectX 10. To check your internet quality, you're going to want to head to speedtest.net. This will show you your average ping, upload speed, and download speed. The lowest upload speed that I'd recommend for 720p is around 2-3 to three megabytes per second, especially if you're streaming online games. You can kind of push this to maybe 0.8 megabytes a second to 1.3 megabytes a second if you want to do 480p, but I really wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. Make sure that you hang on to the number for upload speed because we're going to need that later when doing the bitrate in Open Broadcaster. My internet connection here is pretty good with about 40 milliseconds of ping and about 70 down, 15 up, which is perfectly enough to do the maximum bitrate Twitch allows, which is 3500. Before we dive into the software, I just want to say that it's a really, really good idea and highly recommended to be able to see, uh, hopefully, your open broadcaster window, but also definitely you need to see your Twitch stream and Twitch chat. Uh, there's a few different ways to do this. What I use is typically a second monitor, which I'll have my Twitch stream and Twitch chat on on the left side, and then I'll just have um, open broadcaster on the right side. You could also use a laptop to show your Twitch stream, and um, there's also an app for Twitch on pretty much all smartphones. I think it's on both or iOS, Android, and Windows. If you don't have any of those available, then you could mirror your game window um, in such a way as if you have a big enough monitor, but you could do that in such a way where you can see both the game uh, and the Twitch chat and uh, open broadcaster on your screen or you know one or the other. Alright so now we're in open broadcaster software classic I'll throw a link in the description this is actually the software that I stream from and I'll kinda go over uh, everything that's on the screen right now so as you see this right now I'm just previewing the stream I've got overwatch in the background um, I've got my webcam in the top left there's a little follower goal up top there I plug my Twitter and YouTube right here. Uh, on the right side we have donations and recent follower. And then at the bottom we have um, Nightbot, which is a plugin that we'll get into in a little bit. Well, it's not a plugin, but it's a tool that we'll get into in a little bit. And uh, it shows people can request songs and it shows what song is playing. Um, for microphone, I have this turned up all the way. And for volume, you want it to be less than the microphone. You can play around with this um, and play around with your game settings and stuff to get it the way you want it. But generally, you want the game volume uh, to be less, or game volume and music to be less than your microphone. Um, over here, we have scenes and sources. This is my main scene. I typically stream Overwatch, so you'll notice um, something else I want to mention is that I have. Uh, these templates over here which were completely free these are the nerderdie.com overwatch templates uh, you can pay it's basically a pay whatever you want system and you can put in zero dollars and get them for free if you want or you can support them I definitely recommend supporting them because they're very cool so with this and uh, downloading the big noodle font I think it's called or big noodle tilting font which is basically the font that overwatch uses um, I've customized this stream, so I've got uh, that obviously that little wrap around my webcam up there, um, and then on the right I, it has the donations and stuff, 
and um, there's a few other photos that it came with but I'm just using these two templates right now um, this just makes it look really nice and it flushes with the game when you're using the game font which is something else I really recommend uh, there's a f few other templates out there well probably several other templates out there for not only overwatch but um, different games and what I would like to set my stream up to do is every time I switch to a different game it's basically the same theme but it'll have the same text as the game or same font as the game and uh, templates that are within the theme of the game um, so let me just see if there's anything interesting in here uh, the follower goals is through the steam label uh, software which we'll get into later um, nightbot at the bottom and you're not seeing it now, but I also have Twitch alerts set up, so a uh, notification pops up on the screen and says so-and-so has followed you, so-and-so has donated whatever dollars, a little notification comes up um, with a little sound, which is something we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, down here for my scenes, I like to have um, stuff that's just easy to switch to that I might need for a specific uh, occasion. I've got Overwatch, which has my templates and everything over it. I uh, have my monitor, which will just show whatever's on my monitor, which right now is <laughs> going to infinity. I have this little thing. Um, this is just a little be right back sign that I made in Photoshop really quick. It matches with my banners and profile pictures on social media. Uh, Overwatch font, super simple. At the bottom we have the Nightbot um, just scrolling through here saying whatever song is playing while I'm gone. And when I'm doing a be right back thing, like going to the bathroom, getting something to eat or something, uh, I like to just mute the mic and then turn up the volume all the way. So it's basically just a music station where people can request songs and talk in the chat. Also, I have it so I can switch to just my webcam if I want, just let it load here. And it's just me. Frame rate's a little slow on this because it's a bit of an old uh, webcam, but it gets the job done. Moving on to the settings, uh, general nothing to change here. Um, encoding, encoder use x264, use constant bitrate checked, use CBR padding checked. Um, max bitrate here. Uh, Twitch, the highest they accept is 3500. Um, but for a recommendation on what you should use as your max bitrate, I think Twitch also has more info on their website, but uh, openbroadcastersoftware.com slash estimator. I'll throw this in the description as well. Um, basically you put in a little bit of info about your rig and how fast your upload speed is which we obtained earlier um, on speedtest.net so mine is 14750 because this is in kilobytes per second and they show you that in megabytes per second uh, so it gives me some advice here set FPS to 30 and I can uh, set that to 60 if I downscale my resolution um, just some basic stuff here uh, recommended max bitrate right here 3500 and that's the highest twitch accepts other than just following uh, what's recommended I would play around with this max bitrate number um, until you're getting pretty much 0.00% dropped frames you can kinda push it but you really it, it needs to stay less than 1% um, dropped frames for a good stream one thing I forgot to mention is that for the FMS URL, you're going to want to pick a place that is geographically close to you, um, but a really easy way to find out which one has the best connection for you is to download something called Twitch Bandwidth Test. Right now I'm running version 1.21, and um, what this does is basically pings a bunch of the different servers that Twitch uses and it shows you the bandwidth, uh, which one has the lowest ping, best quality, and things like that. Uh, when you're running this test you're not supposed to actually have any applications connected to the internet um, and I have Overwatch connected to the internet which is probably why this quality thing is uh, so low in here but uh, as you can see just really quickly that Chicago for me has the lowest ping so that's why I'm cl connected to that. This will make sure your stream is less laggy and has less dropped frames. I do save my um, every stream that I put out I save to my computer in case I want to upload it as a video later something like that so that's a bit more intensive on your uh, PC which is something to keep in mind uh, video make sure you choose your graphic graphics card here and if you don't know uh, what your graphics card is um, or your CPU thing earlier for the estimator all you have to do is uh, open your windows bar type run and then put in D X D I A G, okay. Give it a sec, and then this will pop up. 
Um, on the system thing here, it's under processor. It'll show your processor right there. And then um, your RAM under that in megabytes for some reason. Anyways, I've got 16 uh, gigs of RAM. Then it also shows what uh, graphics card you're using if you click on uh, whichever display you're running. So I've got right here GTX 970. Um, my resolution, I'm actually running 1900 by 1200, but since you want to stream in 16 by 9, most people just have 1080p. Um, it's just the way most media is. So you want to make sure your aspect ratio is 16 by 9, and this is typically going to be your monitor resolution, but for me, I just did the closest resolution that was um, closest to the aspect ratio, which is 1920 by 1080. I do downscale my resolution just so I can get minimum dropped frames um, and just to 1.5 so I run it 720p and then FPS I keep it 30, filter, have this on bilinear, fastest, I wouldn't change that, audio, um, headphones, very important for streaming uh, both for your microphone and for your game sound so you don't get echo and a bunch of feedback and stuff like that. Advanced. Um, the only thing you want to mess with here, I think you want to make sure CFR, CFR is uh, checked, but uh, this preset here, um, let me see what this says, if I can, okay, setting this value higher reduces CPU usage by sacrificing certain aspects of quality, on the other hand, setting this value lower increases quality at the cost of more CPU. So uh, they recommend very fast, it depends on, you know, your CPU, how uh, how good you want the quality to be versus you know how much strain can your computer handle you don't want it to slow down the game obviously but you do want to have high quality so you can mess around with that um, in most cases you're not gonna go um, I don't think you're gonna go below fast in most cases but um, I don't know um, quick switch encoder yeah I don't think uh, I think that's pretty much it um, you can mess around with this for your microphone thing. Uh, this is fine for me. But uh, yeah, I think that does it for the open broadcaster settings. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is called Twitch Alerts. Uh, this is just a website. You sign in with your Twitch. Uh, not only can you track your analytics of donations and subscribers and follows and stuff like that, but you can also um, connect this with open broadcaster and uh, have different alerts, have your viewers give you messages and stuff like that when you have um, donations and follows and stuff like that. Pretty much everybody on Twitch uses this. So just as an example here, I've got Open Broadcaster open. Uh, I'm going to test a follow alert. And it says Coolio Brad is now following. I've got a little GIF image up there which you can change to anything you want. Um, you can see donation there, I donated $98. You can change each of these things, customize them. You also get a little uh, notification uh, through sound. So another thing that goes along with Twitch Alerts is software called Stream Labels and um, I'll open that up here. What this is basically uh, creates a bunch of text files for you that are very useful. So here's just a um, recent events. Again, I haven't streamed uh, seriously in a long time so I've got all these uh, old follow notifications from back in the day but um, basically what you can do here is uh, let's full screen this you can set up different uh, text files up on your stream uh, for different goals you have for the day maybe you want a certain donation goal and it'll update uh, automatically every now and again you know once you get a new donation stuff and eventually you'll reach the goal you can do uh, most recent follower uh, as a section you can do uh, you know like I said donation goal donation trains uh, monthly top donator all these options really helpful and really cool on my stream I use this for the current followers right here uh, which is very helpful because you don't have to go in manually and change it the text will just update automatically okay the last thing that I want to talk about is something called Nightbot um, what this does basically it acts as kind of an auto moderator for your chat which you can customize uh, you can do that for when you're you know not streaming and not able to mod the chat yourself or just um, so it frees up your hands if you're paying an intense game somebody's spamming in there it's something that's very easy to detect Nightbot will get rid of that but mostly what I like to use this for is uh, song requests. You can play songs through this through Spotify, um, 
<laughs> YouTube, and uh, I believe SoundCloud. So you can play pretty much any song you want. People can request songs in the chat. You can hook up different playlists to this. People can make their own playlist. It's really cool. It's a good way to have uh, interaction with the fans. Uh, maybe talk about music and um, just make your stream a little more entertaining especially if you're not somebody who's very talkative this provides something interesting in the background for people to listen to while they watch your stream thanks for watching guys if you have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comment section below um, I'll throw my PC specs in the description in case you want to mirror my settings exactly uh, if you see my stream and like it my stream by the way twitch.tv slash Brad. If I'm not live streaming, then I'll have a past broadcast on there that you can watch uh, to get a feel for what the quality is um, for this type of live stream. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, like the video, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.